Did you know that Microsoft Edge has chat GPT capabilities built right in? That was weird. That's right, and in this video, I'm going to show you what those features are, and I'm going to show you how you can use them. Now, thanks to its partnership with OpenAI, the company that created ChatGPT, Microsoft has been adding AI capabilities into its various products and services, including Microsoft Edge. Now, what's really awesome is that up until last week, in order to access the AI capabilities in Edge, you actually had to put yourself on a wait list, and then you had to wait to receive an email giving you access to those capabilities. Microsoft announced that they were going to be doing away with that preview registration process, and now they are making the AI capabilities in Edge available to anyone that wants to try them. All right, now if you don't currently have Microsoft Edge, you can download it for free from Microsoft's website. I've included a link to this site in the description below. Now you can see here that Microsoft Edge is available for Windows and Mac OS, and you can even access Edge with the integrated AI capabilities on your iOS or Android mobile device by downloading the app from the respective app stores. All right, now once you have Microsoft Edge installed, you are going to notice this new icon in the top right corner of the browser, and you're going to notice that it is the Bing icon. Now this brings up the Discover pane, and this is where you can come to access the AI chatbot capabilities in Edge. Now you'll notice there are three tabs. There is a Chat tab, a Compose tab, and an insights tab, and each one of those tabs serves a different purpose, and we're going to walk through what each one of these tabs does in this tutorial. Now the chat tab is where you can go to interact with the AI-based chatbot. Now in this pane, you essentially ask a question or enter a prompt, and it will provide a response right in the pane that is embedded in the browser. Now, the first thing that you'll want to do when working in the chat tab is you want to select your conversation style. Now, you'll notice here there are three options, creative, balanced, and precise. And you'll also notice as I place my cursor on top of each option, it will display a description of what that style entails. Now, I'd highly encourage you to test each one out and to select the one that is most suitable for the specific task at hand. The next step in order to use Bing AI in Edge is to enter a prompt or a question in the Ask Me Anything field. Now, I will paste a prompt in here that reads, create an outline in bullet form for a video tutorial that will demonstrate how to use Bing AI in Microsoft Edge in 200 words or less. And then I will press enter on my keyboard. Now you can see here that it's generating a response and that you have an option to stop generating the response by clicking on this button here. And you can see here that it generated a response that's pretty accurate and that satisfies my request. Now a couple of important notes. You'll notice at the very bottom of the response that it will also display the sources that it used in compiling or generating a response. And if you place your cursor over any one of these sources, you can actually link out to that source. Now, the other thing that you'll notice is when you place your cursor over the actual response, you'll also have this option to click into the more menu. And this is where you can come to actually copy this response in the event that you want to copy it and paste it somewhere else. And I'll also draw your attention to these action bubbles at the very bottom of the chat pane. So what it will do is it will actually provide you with some follow-up prompts that may be related to the prompt or the question that you had input in the first place. Now to initiate a new chat thread, just click the blue icon to the left of the Ask Me Anything field. Now you can use the chat tab in Edge to do almost anything that you can use ChatGPT to do. Now you can see here in this example on the screen, I've asked it to develop an Excel formula that will determine the age of an individual based on the date of birth that is stored in the spreadsheet. You can see here that it was able to generate that formula 
and that I was able to use that formula to actually output the age value in my spreadsheet. Now what's really cool about the AI capabilities that are integrated in Microsoft Edge and what also sets it apart from ChatGPT is that it can actually access the context of the page that you're currently on. Now with on-page context, you can see here that once I select some data or text from a web page, it is automatically going to be recognized in the chat tab. So you can see here on the screen that I have highlighted text and the chat tab has updated to ask me if I want to send that selected text over into the chat pane. Now I'll go ahead and click send and you're going to see here that it displays a few action bubbles at the bottom of the pane. Now I can ask Bing AI to either explain this text snippet, to revise it, to summarize it, or even to expand on it. Now I'll go ahead and I will click on the explain bubble. And you can see here that it's taken that text and it's explained it for me. It's also looked at additional information and I can easily drill down into those references that it made in providing that response. And it's also included some additional news snippets that are related to the topic of my web page. Now, another really important note, in order to make use of the on-page context capabilities, you do have to enable it. Now, to do this, you want to click into the More Options menu and you want to click on Notification and App Settings. And you want to make sure that you turn this page context toggle on. Now the Compose tab is really awesome because what it does is it allows you to insert a prompt where you're going to ask Bing AI to actually draft some specific text for you. Now you can see here on the Compose tab, there is a write about input field. Now I'll go ahead and paste a prompt in here that says write an email to my manager requesting a 25% salary increase and then I've cited some reasons why I believe I deserve a salary increase. The next step is to select your tone and you'll notice that there are five different options, professional, casual, enthusiastic, informational, and funny. And then you can actually select the specific format. You can select paragraph, email, blog post, ideas, and you also have the option to select your desired length. Now you can go ahead and play with the different settings until you've obtained a piece of text that meets your specific requirements. Now I will set my tone to professional and I will select the format email and I'll set my length to medium and I'll click generate draft. And you can see here in the preview section of the compose pane, it is going to draft an email that satisfies what I've asked it to do. Now you can see here that it has drafted this response. Now I'll go ahead and change this to short and this time I'm going to set the tone to casual and I'll click generate draft again and we'll see what it comes up with. Now once you're ready to go ahead and use this content, you can see the option to either copy this text or you can simply click add to site and you're going to see here that it actually added it to the body of this email that I have open in Outlook. And the last tab that is included in Microsoft Edge is the Insights tab. Now this tab will essentially look at the page that you're currently on and it will provide you with insights including question and answers, FAQs, key points, related articles, and so much more. You can see here that it has provided some Q&A around Bing chat in Microsoft Edge. You can see here that it's also provided the key points from this page. And it's also going to outline the page topics and provide additional articles that may be relevant for my search. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how to use the AI capabilities in Microsoft Edge. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.